Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. You like this video, you give your opinion at the comment section below. And don't forget to share this video. Now, I was looking at a scenario where our cabinet minister of investment, trade and industry is being blocked not even to access the United States of America. This is something, a scenario that we've seen for decades of time, since Moses Kuria uh, assumed the Office of Investment and Trade. I was reading also a certain news where there was a governor that was planning to have a party in the United States of America. And he is being blocked because of a certain kind of corruption that is being exposed in his leadership. But when we look at that governor, we are not told who is that governor. Is it Johnson Sakaja? Because Johnson Sakaja is also having a scandal of 432 billion Kenya shillings. When we look at also the, the, the current governor of Kakamega County, Fernandez Baraza, is also having the same, same problem. Because uh, we are told that initially, he was, I don't know, the director of Kenjian or I think Kenjian, some part of the leadership there. I don't know, director, manager or director. But now, I want us to look at why Moses Kuria is being rejected, even to attend certain meetings in the United States of America. For example, uh, just about three months ago, the investment, trade, and industry representative from the United States of America, Catherine Tai, came into, the, uh, into our country. And when we look at the discussion that was in state house, was all about the partnership in between the investment of Kenya and the United States of America. One thing that you could see um, about the pictures that was taken there it was William Ruto that was present. The Foreign Affairs Cabinet Minister Alfred Ruto was present. Catherine Tai was present. She is the representative of investment and trade in the United States of America. But when you look at that photo, someone was uh, missing in that photo, and that was Moses Kuria. It's like that was not enough. Just this week, William Ruto, Travel to the United States of America. The reason behind it, it was all about the discussion of investment and trade in between the United States of America and, um, of course, Kenya. When we look at what William Ruto came out reporting to us, that they had a good conversation towards the investment in between the two nations, that is, that is United States of America and, of course, Kenya. But now, someone was also missing. That was... Moses Kuria. He was just left yelling and making noise in Kenya. Because when you look at that kind of meeting, Moses Kuria should be there. He is a cabinet minister of investment and trade. What if that meeting, the certain issues that was discussed, and Moses Kuria do not understand? That is the problem. Because when you look at even Moses Kuria, it seems like he, he doesn't understand his docket very well. And that is why initially William Ruto came out saying that when, if you see him understanding more about a certain ministry, it means that cabinet minister is not understanding his uh, virtue and also the reason why he should be the cabinet minister in that ministry. The same two principal secretaries and chief administrative secretaries. But now the problem is, Moses Kuria is being rejected by various countries when it comes to the discussion of investment. You've seen um, Moses Kuria, U.S. is rejecting him live, live. And the reason behind he is being uh, rejected is because his mouth is loose. He can say anything. Moses Kuria is a funny guy or a funny leader that even can decide to make noise and uh, yell to the investors. 
You saw the, the, the last year there was a certain video that came out. Moses Kure was yelling at a certain foreign investor who came out and confronted Moses Kure because the way Moses Kure was kind of exchanging certain words with that investor, it was not appealing. It was very unfortunate. But as far as we are concerned again, it means that in near future, I think a president should appoint those who are going to represent Kenya across the world. Moses Kure should not be a cabinet minister locally because he is talking about more of investment in his ministry. So, for example, Uganda, Uganda wants to have kind of investment and partnership when it comes to businesses. Moses Kure should be there. When it comes to maybe Canada wants to have kind of discussion of investment and trade and industry, Moses Kure should be there because he is the head of that ministry. But apparently, he's showing a kind of um, a dubious cabinet minister who do not understand his character and how he should come out to appeal himself before that ministry that he is competent. In fact, Moses Kure is educated, but it seems like he's showing a kind of his mind. He's so illiterate with certain issues when it comes to his docket. Leave alone just that. Moses Kure is a, is a, a leader the other day when it comes to the issue of fuel that hiked up by uh, additional of some 30, 20, and now in some places they are being uh, sold at 207, 200, and that is it. But Moses Kuria came out saying that if you fail, the price of fuel is so high, then you can prepare yourself or you can inform him and he can assist you to have your board. So it means that there is a kind of leader who does not care about the interest of the people. It's just himself. And when you look at even the way he's reacting to the opinions of Kenyans, it seems like this man is mad again, uh, on what Kenyans are saying. But again, he's a leader. You know, you should come out to give people hope. But Moses Kure is a man that cannot give you hope. Even if he's telling the truth, that in, in the next year, you're going to have a fuel one liter at 260. It might be so, but again, I think it should give people hope. And this hope, they should also make more effort to ensure that the price of fuel is going down. Something that I'm against of this government is one, is that the other time, during the regime of Uru Kenyatta, Uru came out saying that people should not complain because the war in between Russia and Ukraine brought this all kind of things, you know, brought all these kind of things. And Uru Kenyatta came out explaining what did William Ruto and his brigade did was to come out and blackmail, paint a bad picture of Uru Kenyatta's regime, frustrate him. And in fact, they came out in, a, in an extent that they were now distancing Uru Kenyatta with his supporters from Mount Kenya region. Now, Mount Kenya region came out celebrating that Uru Kenyatta had been kicked out with his candidate Raila Muludinga. But now, the same same Raila Muludinga, they're calling Raila Muludinga to come out to at least speak their interest, which it is so unfortunate. If you believe that someone can work, you could have come out to vote for Raila Muludinga. Then if you, feel, you felt like Raila was not man enough to lead the country, then leave William Ruto to lead then let people suffer. And that is why Moses Kuria is being blocked not to travel to the United States of America because this government has come out to appoint some um, dubious kind of ministers. You know, look at Aisha Juma. She doesn't understand even her ministry. It's just roaming uh, left, right, center. Look at different individuals like um, Minister of Agriculture. The other day he came out, see, Minteka Linturi say, that now he was going to give a contract to certain farmers in, um, it was where? Canada or where? That they were going to have a kind of contract. Why should you come out to give Kenyan, Kenyan farmers contract so that they can do those businesses? You're going to pay those people, then here you're going to import maize. It is so pathetic. So if these leaders are being blocked because of their loose tongue, 
like Moses Kuria, and we are being told that there is another governor that is being blocked because of Kandaro of case of corruption, which when we look at the way Kenyans are reacting, we don't know who is that governor. But ladies and gentlemen, the news is Moses Kuria cannot access United States of America. He's just roaming here. And uh, even some meetings of U.S., Moses Kuria is not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, what happens? Drop your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you so much because of watching. Please consider liking this video. You subscribe and you share.